Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and this is my 48th vlog, so hello. Almost a year now, can't believe it. It's, it's crazy. A couple more weeks. <laughs> um, I didn't post a tutorial this week. Um, the kids were off for spring break, so I just kind of wanted to spend some time with them, so that's why I did two tutorials so close together the week before, so that way I could kind of keep track of any comments or anything like that on those. So that's why I didn't post a tutorial this week. I do have a tutorial coming out this week, obviously. Um, I'm actually making a cup for Charlotte, so it's going to be a sippy cup one. So I know um, a lot of people have a hard time with those as well. Like, what do we put on that? <laughs> so I have something cute in store for that. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with my... Um, my video last week, my vlog last week. I don't know why the end portion just wasn't synced up. I, I uploaded it numerous times. I don't know. I have no idea why it did that. So I'm going to be using this again today, this morning, kind of make up for last week since I don't know why my audio was off like that. Hopefully it doesn't do that again today. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know but I'll make sure to put her into the description again as well. I got a bunch of little side projects going on. This is um, a water bottle that I'm making for my daughter for school. This is lime with uh, Vinca over top. It's so cool looking. I love how it looks like um, there's like a teal over it, but there's not. I mean, it's the color shift of the transparent glitter, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I haven't decided something. I don't know, maybe power wash method over it. I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll make sure to show you guys when it's done. I'm also trying out pens. I'm doing pens. These are probably actually ready to go ahead and come off. I don't know if I want to put any decals on them or not yet. I have to kind of figure that out. But yeah, see, I got them on my... <laughs> That's how I did mine. <laughs> hmm. So they were really easy to do. I know a lot of you guys have already done these, so I'm not going to do a tutorial on these. I mean, if you want me to, it'd be like five minutes long because it's so easy to do. Now, I know everybody uses those uh, Inkjoy pens, but I'm assuming you probably use any pen you want or even mechanical pencil that you want as long as you can take all the stuff off to do it up. I mean, you don't have to do the Inkjoys, I don't think, so... I don't know. I want to look into that because uh, Jeff was like, you know, you should make Molly a pencil to match her uh, her tumbler there. So I might have to go to the dollar store and see if I can find something. Of course, the cat's scratching at the door. So along with me um, supporting other tumbler makers and stuff like that on here, because I know you guys see I buy cups and I, you know, show them off to you guys and tell you guys to go show the shop some love and all that. I decided I wanted to start uh, to do YouTube channels as well of other uh, small YouTubers out there that are just starting out, just like I did last year. So, you know, some of them are pretty new to being on YouTube. So it would just be great for them to kind of get some more subscribers and build themselves up as well. So every Sunday, I'll make sure to put some YouTube channels down there, some small YouTube channels down there so that you guys can go check them out, subscribe, show them some love as well. All right, guys, we got a lot of work to do. I got my coffee and I'm ready to wake, prep, and slay all day. Let's do this. All right, I decided to just go ahead and we're going to do pins right here on my vlog because it's so easy. I mean, there's really nothing to it. So I'm going to pen and I'm going to take everything out of it and I'm going to twist off the, what is this, the little paper clip thing. You know, you attach it to stuff, stick it in your pocket. You want to take that off. So I just twist mine off. Not a big deal. I make sure, like I said, to take everything out of the center, even the little clicky part at the top. I just give it a little tap and it's good to go. Now I'm just going to take some sanding paper here and we're going to sand down any little lumps and I'm actually going to sand off all those little diamond hearts as well. I actually ended up going out to my garage and finding something my husband likes to use on pipes. It works really well. It's like a big metal file and it filed everything down 
great because I don't have a Dremel. So if you have a Dremel, it'd probably work a little bit easier, but this worked as well. So I want to take off the names completely, the, the Inkjoy name off of it. I want to take the little hearts off the back and I want to take any little lumps from the paper clip off of it too. And that's pretty much what you want it to look like. And then I came back through and just took some alcohol and wiped it down really well. There's my file. See, <laughs> it's, it's had some use. <laughs> I just uh, took some uh, rubbing alcohol and cleaned them up really well. And then I'm going to go outside and I'm going to spray paint them. Now to hold my pens while I spray paint and while I turn them on the turner once they're ready for that. I just picked myself up a pack of pencils from the dollar store. I think you get like six in there, maybe, maybe like ten. I think you get like ten pencils for a dollar but they fit really great inside of there. So I'm gonna put my pencils in there. I'm gonna go spray paint them. And while those dry, I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions before we start glittering those pens. Okay, so I had KM. She asked me lots of questions. I think it was just last night. Um, but she is recently converting over to epoxy from bright tone. So she has a lot of questions, okay? <laughs> So she asked on my Northern Lights uh, Christmas Tumblr, she says, this one turned out beautiful as I am listening to the steps. I think I got myself confused, LOL. So I may ask, so I will ask, there we go, do all coats of epoxy dry or turn for the same amount of time, eight hours, or is there a layer maybe towards the end? Well, she was pretty much just asking about the dry times, because it, it's a long question. <laughs> but she was pretty much asking about the dry times, so this is my response to her. I told her, so I do this. They need to be on the turner to spin for 48 hours. After that, stand them up to continue to cure, which most of us do, so that way we have room in our turners, you guys know. So that way we can turn more tumblers if we need to. Or they can go ahead and apply another coat of epoxy over that epoxy if it's ready for another coat. But if you're wanting to apply your decals, you want to wait 12 to 24 hours to apply any decals or sand them or anything like that because you don't want your tumbler sticky at all when you go to do that process. You don't want it sticky when you go to sand your tumbler. You don't want it sticky when you go to apply your decals. You wanna make sure that it has a nice hard surface for you to be able to do all that stuff onto. And she did respond back. She just wanted to verify um, why 12 to 24 hours instead of eight hours before applying a decal. But like I just said, you wanna make sure it's not sticky at all for that. <laughs> and then what else did she say here? And she just wanted to verify the standing up part of the whole turning process. So between four to eight hours, you can stand it up if you want to. Like I said, that's optional. You can let it continue to turn on your turner for you know however long you need to until it's not sticky anymore. But most of us like to get more tumblers onto our turner. So we'll take our tumblers and stand them up to continue to cure so that way we can move on to that next cup. She did also ask about the cleaning of the rim and the sanding of it as well. So what I personally like to do is every single step that I do on my tumbler, I'll pop it, pop it off of its uh, wand and I will clean the rim every single time in between each layer so that way whenever it's finally done, there's hardly anything you have to clean up at the end and it makes it so much more easier. Now, when you are on your last coat of epoxy, you definitely don't want to sand it at all on the main surface of your tumbler. Any type of sanding is going to cause it to dull and look scratched, and you're going to have to reapply another thin coat of epoxy over it to kind of fix that. But if you're just kind of going around the metal part of the rim at the very top just to kind of smooth everything out, that's perfectly fine. I've done that myself numerous times, so... You just want to make sure that you don't sand it on its lat on it whenever it's finally done. You don't want to sand any part of the main tumbler at all once you are done, just so that way you don't have to reapply another coat if you make it all dull. But MK, I hope that helps out. If you have any more questions, put them down below. Maybe some other people will be able to help you out as well because there's lots of other people out there that are so smart and know a lot about stuff that I might not know about. So keep asking your questions, keep learning. That is so very important whenever you're doing this craft. 
Okay, this next one isn't a question, but Liz said, I love, love, love that the fact that you mention other creators and support and buy their products is such a cool thing. I'll definitely be purchasing from you soon. And she, I guess she has some renovations she has to get done in her house. Listen, Liz, it's not a it's not a big rush. I'm here. But there's lots of other Tumblr artists out there as well that would love a purchase. I'm just saying. I so enjoy the fact that I can come on here and support other businesses because that was the whole reason why I started up my YouTube channel. I want to support you. Okay? So thank you so much, Liz, for your kind words. All right, let's get the first half of these pens going. Now I have some Fast Set Epoxy from Illumilite. I have their Quick Coat Epoxy there that I have mixed up. And <laughs> I made a little stand for my, my pens here. I just took a box and made some X's and that was really good for me. All I'm gonna do is do a very, very thin coat of epoxy on my pens. I'm gonna let them stand to cure and then I'm gonna apply another coat of epoxy later on probably in the next two hours, I'll be able to apply a second coat because this stuff dries so quick. Not dries, but cures so quick. You, you guys know what I'm saying. So here they are. I got them all glittered up. So fancy. I think all of um, my mother-in-law's friends and family are going to love these pens because I'm going to give them to her to take back with her when she heads up north because she's visiting me here now. So I'm so excited to be able to do these for her. All right, guys, I did move on to my afternoon drink, just my my logo tumbler. That's all I'm using today. I need to go out and purchase me some more tumblers for people. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's time. I need more. I mean, I want, I want my whole pantry to be filled with other people's creations. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm kind of getting over a little bit of the sniffles, so I'm trying. I'm trying not to sound too stuffy, but... <laughs> You know, with kid, with four kids, you never know what they're touching and bringing back into the house. So I don't know. <laughs> My mother-in-law is making dinner tonight, so that's nice. I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I just have to get everybody else their baths and stuff like that. So, cause school's school's back tomorrow. So, like I said earlier, back tomorrow, back to doing everything like I usually do. It's always nice when they have off because it's like I can just sit at home and kind of just focus on my jobs here. <laughs> Before I let everybody go, I wanted to say a special thank you to all of my Patreon members, all of my Goldie members. I so truly appreciate you guys being a part of that group and just, you know, being able to um, experience a little bit more of my YouTube with you guys. So I, I'm very thankful for you guys. So thank you so much for almost a great first month on Patreon. <laughs> if you'd like to join my Patreon group, I mean, it's up to you. I, no pressure because, you know, it, it's no, it's really not a big deal if you do or not. I, I'm not pushing it at all. Um, I do post some extra stuff in there. I've been doing like business type stuff. So, you know, stuff like that. So that that's pretty much it in my patreon group so but if you guys want to check that out i'll put the link down in the description if you'd like to check it out for next month and sign up completely up to you but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go i don't want to hold you up too much longer with all my chit chat and stuff be on the lookout for my tutorial this week make sure you go down below and check out those other youtube channels because you might find something pretty interesting on there you never know Everybody has their own way of doing stuff, so I, I'm more than happy to kind of put these other YouTubers out there as well. So I need to go online, look for another Tumblr, I'm just saying. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.